Hi guys, it's Firebeats here, and I'm showing you a tutorial on the uh, iSchooled reactor. So this is my setup, and it's half filled with uranium cells, but you can make, you can add more, or you can take out some. Um, many times it'll depend on the server's lag, really, on if it will overheat or not. So I've just kept mine with 27 cells in there. But um, it's fairly easy to build, it does require a lot of EMC, as you can see, but so if you just have something like a power flower, or if you have something like a blaze rod EMC farm, you just have that connected up to this, and that's making ice that's getting f pushed into your reactor, um, just one second or so, a stack, you can change it down if you want. And then to get the power out, just you need to use an HV transformer or else it'll blow up anything because of it's making extreme voltage. So don't put your NFCSU right next to it. But yeah, okay, to build this, you'll need these components. I mean, you can have as many uranium cells as you like, really. But the more there is, the more chance of a big explosion. So you need, if you want to use a power flower, you need your collectors and relays. And then you want your energy condenser and your filter that will pull it out of there. And your nuclear reactor and reactor terms for the reactor, obviously. The HV transformer and MFSUs for power. The timer and red olo wire is for the filter, just to give it a time. The ice to put in your energy condenser. And then a digital thermometer just to check. And um, it should get quite hot. I think mine normally stays around 1000. So, yeah. But it's a very easy setup and it generates a lot of EU. I mean, it's already filled. Like, ooh, three MFSUs. And the cells have barely even started. So, it's, it's a really good setup. Yeah, cool.